Hello, I'm Bob Duhamel, and excuse me for a moment while I finish vacuuming my car. I'm doing this because a vacuum cleaner is a good model of a battery. This consists of a turbine compressor that causes a low pressure on this side and a high pressure on this side. It sucks air in the low pressure side and blows it out the high pressure side, making an air pump. And if I put the hose here and turn it on, it will blow air out the high pressure side, blow it through the hose, making a circuit, and suck it back in the low pressure side, circulating air through this circuit. Now let's turn it on and see what happens. <gasps> Now I have air circulating through this hose, just like an electric circuit. If I pinch this off, it's like adding a resistor or other component, and it causes a restriction in flow, and a high pressure on that side, and a lower pressure on that side, just like an electric circuit. So, a battery in an electric circuit acts a lot like a vacuum cleaner. This vacuum cleaner sucks air in one side and blows it out the other. And the battery acts the same way. The battery will suck electrons in this side and blow them out that side, acting as an electron pump. Of course, in the case of the battery, the electrons being blown out the negative side are not the same electrons being sucked in the positive side. There's a chemical process that releases free electrons on the negative side and takes in other electrons on the positive side. But near as makes no difference the battery appears to be a pump that circulates electrons around an electrical circuit. Now you may have noticed that it appears the electrons are flowing or the electrical current is going from the lower pressure around to the higher pressure. This is a mistaken labeling that happened early in the science of electronics. When Franklin and Dolly Bard first extracted electricity from clouds, it was thought that clouds had the higher pressure and the earth had the lower pressure. And so they labeled the higher pressure as they thought it was, positive, and the lower pressure, negative. But then Thompson came along and proved that the electrons are actually flowing the opposite direction. So the negative side is actually the higher pressure, and the positive side is the lower pressure. That caused confusion and controversy that continue to this day. Some people, the electron flow camp, see electricity as flowing from negative to positive. But that gives us a fluid going from a lower pressure to a higher pressure. That doesn't make a lot of sense. It's difficult to wrap your mind around, and we really can't use it as a basis to imagine how electricity flows through circuits. The electronics industry and academia view electricity as a fluid that flows from positive to negative. This is the conventional flow camp. Now we have a fluid going from a higher pressure to a lower pressure. This makes a lot more sense. We can wrap our minds around this, and we can use this as a tool to visualize how electricity interacts with components in an electrical circuit. Now looking at something as what it appears, rather than what it really is, is nothing new to us. We all know that the sun does not go around the earth, it is the earth that rotates in the opposite direction. But when you watch a sunrise, you don't look and say, oh, what a beautiful earth rotation we're having today. Now we call it a sunrise. So in these lectures, in complete harmony with the electronics industry and academia, we will visualize electricity as a fluid that flows from positive to negative, conventional flow. If you found this video useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And subscribe because that not only informs you when I put new videos up, but it really helps the channel also. And a big thank you to my patrons at Patreon. I could not make these videos without your support. If you want to help me put these videos online and keep real vocational education free at vocademy.net, you can go to Patreon slash join slash vocademy and pledge your support. And again, a big thank you to my patrons who make this possible, and a big thank you to everyone for watching.